Hey everybody, Jake here. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the controls on the front of this Samsung refrigerator. Now this is a Samsung RF267 model, but the controls are very similar across uh, most of the Samsung models. And um, if you can do it on this refrigerator, it probably would work the same or very similar on another Samsung model that has a very similar uh, control panel. So anyway, Let's get started. By the way, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I've got some other videos coming out. And as everybody knows, this refrigerator has a ongoing freezing problem. The evaporator coil freezes up, stops the fan, so on and so forth. I'm going to get to the bottom of this and I'm going to release a video on how it's done. Okay, so let's get started here. You have six buttons on the front. The first button is your energy saver button. If you tap it once, you can see the little picture of a plug goes on and it will supposedly save you some uh, electric on your uh, on your on your electric bill okay so I usually turn that thing off let's just go to the good stuff here you can change the temperature on your your freezer and your refrigerator by simply tapping this button that says freezer once and it says it's set for uh, eight below and you can change these temperatures by simply tapping them again um, it says minus two below zero Fahrenheit is um, what they recommend so what the heck Let's go ahead and put that at minus two. Now, if you wanted to do a power freeze, let's say, for example, you put all your food out on the, on the table, you had some problems with your refrigerator, or you had some food you had to freeze really, really quickly, you can take this button, press it for three seconds, and it automatically kicks on the compressor, and you can see the power freeze uh, symbol is on there, and it's gonna freeze your food quicker. And let's just turn that one off. Three seconds, and let's go over to the fridge side. Same thing, you can change the temperature on their fridge by simply uh, tapping it once. It tells you it's 40 degrees in there, and now we can change the temperature to 38, 36, 34. You know, in this particular case, I'm gonna actually leave it on 40. It says 38 is recommended, but since this refrigerator has an issue with freezing up the, the evaporator coil, um, what the heck, I'm gonna leave it on 40, and I'm gonna see if that uh, helps a little bit. There's some other things on this refrigerator that you have to know about. You can turn, uh, you can reset the, the filter. In other words, when you change your, your uh, water filter on here, in order for you to know when it's time to change it again, the, the um, refrigerator will tell you by showing this indicator right here, it says, hey, your, your, your uh, filter needs to be changed. So when you change it, you hit this button, you hold it for three seconds. I'm not gonna do it now because I don't have a, I don't have a filter to change it uh, to change it over right now. But if you hold that for three seconds, it'll get rid of that little symbol right there and it'll restart the, the, uh, the clock, so to speak. I don't know how long it lasts for. Let's say it's uh, three months or, or something like that. And then that little indicator will come back on to tell you. Now, over here, you can turn the ice maker on and off. And also, when you turn the ice maker off, it automatically locks, it puts like a child lock child lock on this refrigerator so nobody can mess with the controls after you hit that lock unless they hit the button again and hold it for three seconds it, it's kind of a as far as i'm concerned a useless function but some people might want to turn their ice maker off and to do that you just press that and hold it for three seconds and it has a little lock there my ice maker's off it's not going to make any more ice and the refrigerator is locked at the same time if you want to turn that off you take that you press it hold it down for three seconds let go Coming up over here, you have your uh, uh, alarm on and off. You know when you, when you leave your door open accidentally of your fridge, um, after a certain amount of time, it'll start signaling you to tell you, hey, you left your door open. So you go over to the fridge, you close it. That's a good thing because you don't want to leave your door open accidentally. And so it's a good thing. I'm not even sure why they have an alarm on and off. I would just say leave it on all the time. But you can simply turn the alarm off. You can see by the sound of it, it went off and that's on. You can tell by the sound. And also, there's, there's little lights under here, little LEDs that will show, you can use it as a night light, so on and so forth. Some people like to do it. And you can simply press and hold that button and you can see that it turns that on. I never use it, you know, if you want, you can though. Uh, and it just stays on all the time. And I'm gonna turn that off right now by pressing and holding that button for three seconds. Now, what I wanted to show you guys now is um, there's, a, there's some secret functions here that only the service techs know, and I'm gonna show them to you right now. So first of all, you can turn this refrigerator on and off 
by simply taking these two buttons right here. They call this the demo mode. So in other words, if this was in a, in a store, let's say you were over at uh, Sears or whatever, and you and you saw this refrigerator, of course, it's not always cooling, but the refrigerator's on. So in other words, the screen is on, you open the door, the lights go on, but the compressor's not running. There's no sense in cooling the fridge in the middle of Sears with no food inside. So if you take these two buttons and hold them, it actually says off. And if you, if it's quiet enough, you can actually hear the compressor turn off on your refrigerator and freezer. And some people like to use this as a defrost mode. And basically what it does, it turns everything off and your refrigerator will defrost. So you better not leave that off for, for too long. Okay, now to turn that back on, of course, you take it, you press it, and like three seconds and it comes back on. Now the, now the refrigerator is back on as normal. But now here are the other secret functions I wanted to tell you about. If you take your finger and press the energy saver button and also the fridge uh, and power cool button and hold that for like 12 seconds, I'm not going to count it, but you'll see I'm holding this down and eventually we're going to have something that the whole thing's going to look like it goes off. Now if you take this, it'll say and press that once or actually press any button, it says FF1, which is forced freeze one. And that's the high powered forced freeze. If you press it again, it's force freeze two, which is a medium powered force freeze. And if you press that the third time, it's a forced freeze three, which is a little less strong of a force freeze. Don't ask me why they do this, but, and then if you hit it the fourth time, this goes into forced defrost. Now, what this is supposed to do is turn off the compressor and also start heating up your heating coil that goes around the evaporator. Now, most people that have this particular fridge know that this fridge, the, the heating coil just doesn't work. It doesn't matter. But if you do have a heating coil that do, does work, there you go, and you, put, you can put it in forced defrost like that. Now, I don't know how long it stays in forced defrost. It might be like... I don't know, this is probably something that the service techs could tell you. Maybe it's 30 minutes, maybe it's an hour or two hours, but it heats up the coil in there and also turns the compressor off and hopefully melts all the ice that's on your evaporator. Now, you can hear it's beeping that it tells you it's in this, in this mode right now. It will continue to beep for as long as it's in that mode. Now, if you want to turn this off and go back to normal, Press and hold the off sequence or put it into demo mode. And you can see the screen goes blank and then it automatically comes back to normal uh, refrigerator functions. Okay, and that's pretty much it. The forced defrost function is probably the most important thing that you guys need to know about. What I would probably do as um, something that you can just do on this particular refrigerator is, you know, once a week or so, either put the refrigerator into demo mode by pressing these two buttons, or put the refrigerator into force defrost mode by pressing these two buttons and then cycling through force freeze one, force freeze two, force freeze three, and then f go right to force to for force to frost, let it beep for a while, and you know, maybe for an hour or two, you might see some water dripping inside your fridge on the bottom, you know, below the bottom tray, and eventually the, um, the coils should um, defrost a little bit. So, and that may save you uh, having to take the whole thing apart again. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please subscribe, thumbs up or appreciated, comments are welcome. Have a great day, everybody, and take care. Bye.